All right, Chef Corey, we have some cooking to do. We did dessert, which I like first. Now we're going to do uh, a main course, seared scallops, which is always good, and prawns, and corn polenta. Yeah, which we've got a, a nice, interesting. We've thing got a to lot make. of work to do. So this point is a fresh corn polenta. Okay. So get your mind off like the dry package corn My meal. Mind this is, off is fresh corn again. We're going back to these really, really amazing summer ingredients that we have here. Yes. Now fresh corn polenta is essentially just that. So we're going to take these kernels right off the cob. Okay. And. Corn is stick super them. cheap right now. By corn the way, is cheap I was just looking through is, my flyers. I mean, this is my. This is my favorite way to cook in the summer. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I cook professionally in a kitchen, but if I'm cooking at home, if I can't do it in 30 minutes, I'm really not interested. So this <gasps> you is and a, I are like the same. Yeah. So a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches my, then. <laughs> no? A lot of grilled cheese sandwiches, <laughs> beefaroni. I got all that stuff at home. <laughs> I'm no. happy you admitted Fresh that. ingredients only, paramount. So this guy, right into a blender. You don't have to add anything to it right now. This okay. is going to just kill the set with this blender noise, but. Yeah. I'm not going to keep it on too long, but you can see the point here. It's going to turn it. It's going to turn it into this really fine puree. Yeah. Now, what we've done with that is we have thrown it in the, into this pot just on its own. So mm -hmm. when it comes out, it's a little bit soupy. Yeah. When you cook it down like this, it cooks those. You know, it cooks that corn flavor down. It, it boils off some of the water, and you're left with this. I'll get you a little spoon here, and Trace. And it's so like I mean, this is bright yeah. yellow. You've really added and, nothing to it. And you're left with the most intense sweet corn flavor you could possibly imagine. I mean, there's everything summer about that. Well, no, okay, I added some butter and cheese. Okay. But <laughs> essentially, it really good. it's just corn. That's okay. it. Cook right. down. You want to cook it out until it's like the texture of oatmeal. Very good. Now that's the base of this dish. So we're done. So we're there's done. A recipe. Thank you very much for coming out, people. Just go eat a bowl of that. Yes. And it's really good. <laughs> Okay, so now so, we're going to do the... I'm going to start um, searing, searing the scallops and prawns. Okay. And like I said, like, we could probably do this in 15 minutes if we're this working together on it. Part. It is dead easy. You can have it for an appetizer, main course. While I'm searing the scallops and prawns, I'm going to yeah. get you doing this cherry tomato vinaigrette. Okay. Again, I get the hardest part of the You do recipe. get the hardest part. This is the most tedious job you'll ever do. It's right. peeling cherry tomatoes. It's literally the only time it... Everybody's like, serious? oh, that guy's a real piece of work. Yeah, doing you know, that to you know I'm, I'm the host of this show, I know. Right? Just okay, checking. you know what? Luckily, I've got a full bowl here, but these, these guys have been blanched for about five seconds, ten seconds, dunked in ice water, just like if you're peeling a peach. Oh, you know Anything what, else. guys? It's not that hard. You slip it right off. And you're left it's with these. It's a little these. tedious, but it's not it's so hard. It's a little hard. tedious. Yeah. So you're left with um, these little guys here. And with those, I just salted for about 20 minutes lightly. Okay. What that salt does, as you can see that bowl, it pulls that natural juice right out of the tomatoes. Right. And instead of adding vinegar, we're going to use that to balance the acidity in the vinaigrette. So you don't need anything, you don't need to add much Just to it. a little bit of olive oil and the natural okay. acid from the tomatoes. There's a touch of vinegar. We have one. macerating. One done. That is good. Number that is good. Here. Luckily, we have 45 minutes left in the show. <laughs> okay. How much time do we four. actually have, JC? Two minutes. two minutes. We can do this in two minutes. I'm no probably going to get through maybe four. Okay. So I think we, uh, I think we know where we're going with the tomatoes. Why okay, don't? Good. That's enough of that. <laughs> Okay, now, so now what do we we're do? We're going to mix these? Uh, those tomatoes, maybe half of those. In okay. here, I've got some macerated shallots and garlic just sitting in a touch of vinegar, and that's just going to soften them. Okay. You can add that. And we also have some fresh yuck summer peas. All right. And then you can just rip some tarragon by hand right into there. I will do that. And some basil. A little bit of peas. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil. And then, again, like these really kind of big summer flavors, super fresh. It. This is great outdoor food. This is great anytime food in the summer. Some tarragon. Okay, so it's all about fresh, yeah. eating outside, fresh, making it easy, these. having people come over. You've done this Picking before, this you? from the garden. Yeah. Right? I could I could get into that if you're hosting. Yeah. If I'm hosting, I told you already, <laughs> grilled cheese sandwiches, okay? I can get into that too. And maybe you can bring the dessert. <laughs> okay, so I think I put okay, too much is, of the no, tomato that's juice in. That's perfect. Good? You want it nice and juicy like that. Maybe okay. a little more basil. Okay. In the pan here, the scallops and the prawns. So I put the prawns in a little too early, not going to lie to you, that's okay. <laughs> Luckily we've got a finished plate. That's okay. But the scallops, you want to buy dry scallops, you don't want to buy frozen scallops. Okay. When you buy frozen scallops, most of the time there is <coughs> water injected into the scallops. That's going to leach out when it cooks. Right. These guys are a dry hand harvested diver scallop. So you can get this, you see this guy, this really dark caramelized crust on it. Yeah. And these take maybe three minutes to cook on high heat on each side. That's it. You're not leaving that in there for very long. So high <laughs> no, heat, ouch, a little bit high of oil, Listen, put it we'll in, three hands. minutes it's each side. So, and you know now what? we play. I'll give you to give me a hand here, Trace. Okay. I'm going to scoop some of this on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take some of, I've got some summer squash here that I diced up. Oh, there's you more. You can lay this on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. See, 
right just right on top? Yeah, right on top. Just okay. dump it on. However it's because yeah, we're not gonna be fussy with our plating, right? Just no, throw it this all is together. like summertime backyard food. That's right. We're doing this quick, 30 minutes, in and out, whole family's fed. Very nice. And it's beautiful <laughs> and fresh. So as we mentioned, <laughs> we put all these recipes on our website, cityline.ca. Good thing we have one already we there for let's, you. Let's hold this one up. We have got Chef Corey seared scallop and prawns with corn polenta, and I mean the freshest polenta I have ever it tasted. It is, fresh and sweet. Beautiful. Give Thanks, him a big Rich. hand. Let's go to break. <laughs> 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 <laughs>